three stupid things leaders shouldn't say? Here they are. Don't take this personally. Or, don't come to me with a problem unless you have the answer. And, we need to talk about that sometime. If you've ever heard of these comments, reconsider. First, let's discuss this one. Don't take this personally. How else should someone take a comment like that, delivered before a critique of your work? After all, who else did the work but you? If a group, team, or an entire department is responsible and deserves the critique, then the boss should be talking to them, right? If the comment is delivered to you personally, why would the speaker contradict himself and tell you not to pay attention to it? Is the leader asking you to listen on behalf of someone else? If so, should you respond on behalf of that other person? Or should you not respond at all? Just relay the message? Doesn't make sense. The second comment. Don't come to me with a problem unless you have the answer. If you had the answers, it wouldn't be a problem after all, would it? Now, let's give leaders the benefit of the doubt on this odd statement. With this comment, they probably mean, don't dump your problems at my door and expect me to solve them for you. Think for yourself. But the unintended consequences of such comments produce the surprises that many leaders dread. Stall projects, delayed decisions, and buried disasters that unfold too late to salvage. The third comment. We need to talk about that sometime. This put off may be the most puzzling statement of all. Here's an example. Kimberly lingers after a staff meeting until the room empties. And then she says to her boss, in my opinion, we still need to readjust the workflow in my area. I have three employees putting in 12 hour days and two employees with only enough work for about a five hour day. Did you get my email on that a couple of weeks ago with my suggestions for adjusting their job responsibilities? The boss says, yes I did, we need to talk about that. Long pause. Kimberly says, so what do you think? Should I move ahead? The boss says, we need to talk about that sometime. And he walks on down the hall. Kimberly is talking about that. She has written about that. She's left a voicemail about that. The, we need to talk about that sometime, shuts down communication like a slammed gate. One person is talking, the leader isn't listening. If such pronouncements start to roll off your tongue, you may want to give it more thought. What other common but illogical comments come to mind? Jot those in the comment section below.